Okay, dokie. So the next little bit I'm going to show you is probably only doing one leg. I'm going to do a gradient from one color to a completely different color, not within the same color family. So it's it's really easy to blend like G20 with G24 because they're in the same blending family, they're the same color, it's just a matter of softening the transition between the two. But sometimes you want something to gradiate from one color to another. In the example today, I'm going to do violet into yellow. Um, it takes a little bit more work. I have in my little binder of nerdiness made a sheet of blending pairs from different color families that I like. The one I'm doing today is a Y11 to V20, V12, but these are other pairs I like. Um, that one's nice too. Um, maybe I'll do that one instead. So the um, thing about doing this is it takes a little bit of effort and you have to kind of know how to read the markers. Um, colors that are have a first letter and last letter of two and one work best. They also work best if they're similar for each side of the color. And, you know, some colors just don't work. So it does take a little bit of experimenting and it's why I record the color combinations I like in my resource book, which you can see on my blog, markerguru.blogspot.com. I put information about making my own little uh, stuff. Anyways, so onward. I'm going to have it start I'm going to do these two, Y21 and G21, because they're nice, and they kind of suit her a bit better than purple. Not that this is a masterpiece, but anyways, I'm going to have it go from yellow to green. And to do that, it helps to just take the cab off both markers, just because you're going to be swapping back and forth. It's easier to start with your light color and do a stroke in this manner and go halfway down whatever it is you're coloring at least and what I'm doing with this stroke is I'm putting pressure and then releasing the pressure as I flick so down on the top is going to have a heavy saturation of color and down at the bottom very little and that's what's going to help you blend so you can see, I'm going to keep doing that here. It can be a little bit... Down here is going to stay the same pure color, so you can kind of color it up a little bit. Now you can see the strokes kind of start interlocking like a wee zipper. Color zippers. You go back with your light color. Dark color. This is the swap out madness. And it gets darker and darker. Oops, I just stabbed the middle of my skirt with yellow. Sometimes it helps to go all the way down. You can see it's pretty heavy saturations of color and when you do this, so make sure you're working a little bit lighter than you think you'll need. And there we go. She has a transition from yellow to green. And it's, maybe you can see, it's quite a smooth gradient. Very smooth. And then like, well, you know, if I wanted to shadow that color for some reason, um, you know, we can go up here and add in her cast shadow from her skirt. And, you know, you don't have to worry too much about streaking and blending and all that stuff. And down here, get that n ugly nubby knee I drew. Uh, that darker color was Y26, just so you know. Um, and there you go.